Well, thank you, and um, it is an honor to stand with a conference that I know stands with my brothers and sisters in blue. We started Police Week on Thursday, leaving the steps of the Capitol led by our great speaker on a bike tour from the steps of the People's House to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. And as we rode through the streets of our great capital, we made it clear that we are members that stand with law enforcement. We don't just stand with them when it's beneficial to us. We stand with them 24-7, 365. I've visited the memorial many times in my life. And on Thursday, after the bike ride, on Saturday I shared some time at the vigil with some of my colleagues that are here. Hearing the names of hundreds of men and women from every corner of this nation who made that ultimate sacrifice. They left their loved ones, they suited up, and they went out on the streets, never to return home again. And as we read and recited each and every name that was lost in 2022, I thought about the inscription at the Law Enforcement Memorial. And it was something that I mentioned on Thursday at the bike ride because I think it embodies everything that Police Week is about. And under the line it says, it's not how they died that made them heroes, it's how they lived. And I reflect back on my career in the New York City Police Department, serving as a proud detective. And I think back to the night with just under a year on patrol and hearing Russell Timoshenko in Brooklyn South putting over a car stop for a car that was stolen. And as they exited the vehicle, it took fire. Both him and his partner shot and his partner screaming in the radio that they were taking fire. Russell's family immigrated here. They volunteered at their local church. He was the first person in his family to serve as law enforcement, gunned down in the streets of New York City because he wore a uniform. I think about Mia Soto's familia, who was shot point blank range into her patrol car because she wore a uniform. She was a single mother. And yesterday, her children and grandchildren celebrated another Mother's Day without her. It wasn't about how she died, it was about how she lived. I think about Stephen McDonald. Many of you have heard his story, and I shared it the other day, but it's one to hear again. Stephen McDonald was born and raised on Long Island, lived in my district. And he was a young cop in Central Park, shot in the head at point blank range by young thugs. He survived and spent his life promoting peace and promoting forgiveness. And years back, after a long fight and battle, he returned home, eventually losing his life from the gunshot wounds that day. But it wasn't about how he died, it was about how he lived. So ladies and gentlemen, as we talk about Police Week, yes, we should back the blue. Yes, every member of the United States House of Representatives should be supporting the bills that are on the floor this week. But we know they won't, because some of them are cowards. And they don't want to stand up and say that they support 
the police. They want to defund law enforcement. They want to see drugs and violence reign our streets. But that's not the country that we believe in. That's not the country that so many people gave their lives for. And that's why we, as a conference, are going to keep fighting. So use this week, Police Week, to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and think about that inscription on the wall. It's not how they died that made them heroes, it's how they lived. The New York City Police Department has a motto, Fidelis ad mortem, faithful unto death. Every member of law enforcement on that memorial that many of us will visit this week, they remained Fidelis ad mortem. I'd like, now like to turn it over to Representative Mike Ezell.